welcome back for week number four. Are you excited? I am. <laughs> this one shouldn't be as long. I'm going to try to condense it down as much as I can. Um, we'll see. I think this week and next week are probably going to be my shorter ones because next week I'll be out of the country. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're going to see what happens. But this week we have, drum roll please, Black and Bleachy. <laughs> Yeah, my friend comes up with the best names. Like, I just, girl, you're the real MVP. Hey, boo. Happy 521. So, damn it, already. See, I, last week, I had to edit so much because I kept saying so, so much in all my videos. I have to come up with a better transition word. Work with me, people. Work with me. Now, ha, ah, it's better. This guy... <laughs> I actually met him when I first came to Charlotte, and funny thing is, we did meet online. Um, <laughs> but what's really sad is, y'all will never guess where I met him. Go ahead, take a guess. I'm gonna do the door explore. Long pause. You guessed it, the mall. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so funny. Met him at the mall in real life. <laughs> I was actually just running into the mall to go to Sephora to pick up something. And he was like standing outside of the little barber shop that they have at the mall. I won't pay him no mind. Probably had my permanent resting bitch face on, which is like. <laughs> or I might have been smiling. I don't whatever it was. It like caught his attention instantly and I was not going in there with the intention of meeting anybody which is how they say you meet people <sighs> he popped up on me quick hey excuse me excuse me I think you are absolutely beautiful you know can I talk to you for a second and I was just like okay hey how are you <laughs> and he was just telling me you know he wasn't from here you know he just was in town for the weekend and you know well I have this show that I'm doing tonight and I would really like for you to come and I was like um I probably won't but I appreciate you inviting me uh, I have other things I have to do but thank you we exchanged numbers yeah and that started our textual conversation <laughs> we text a lot like call he was always calling he was always texting but the catch is he wasn't from here he's from new york he was a rapper from new york <laughs> i know how to pick him don't i he ended up being super sweet really cute super nice guy um very attentive you know we would talk on the phone all the time we would, um, I think I added him to my social media. You know, he's always liking and commenting on stuff. Don't try to go back and see because he's not on there no more. Man, your business. Man, your business. <laughs> Anywho, using my transition words again. He, um, <laughs> he became problematic. When he always came up with an excuse for everything, it was so many excuses. It got to the point where I was just like, like, what am I doing? What is the point? Like, you know, you can't start off all gung ho. Yeah, you know, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing that. We're going to do this. And I'm just like, okay, I hear you. And that's pretty much how I am with everybody. I, my All my favorite line is, oh, okay. Sounds good. I hear what you're saying. Because I know you're lying. <laughs> I already know. He ended up getting into the story again. Sorry, y'all. He ended up texting me because I was actually moving my stuff down here from Virginia. So, damn it. <laughs> Move my stuff down here from Virginia. 
And I asked him, I was like, well, you know, what are you doing? Would you mind helping me? Since you're always on the road, you claim you have so much time to do everything that you need to do. Could you help me? He was like, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I got you. Let me just go ahead and get this worked out. I'm going to come down there and I'm going to help you. Okay. First excuse. Number one. Well, I can't help you now because I have a show that I have to do in New York and I can't make it. All right, cool. No problem. Moved all my stuff here, you know, by myself. <laughs> I had movers to come. Well, sorry, not by myself, but by myself. I had movers to come and help me. Um, one of my really good friends came and helped me unpack. But other than that, I didn't have any help. Excuse number one. Number two was, oh, Rob, I really want to see you. You know, what's going on this weekend? And I was like, I'm not doing anything. You know, we can meet in D.C., that's not far, you know, it's like the middle of where we are. He was like, all right, cool. Let me let you, let me, let me get back to you on that. Okay, no problem. I'm waiting on him to let me know because I was going to fly to D.C. He didn't contact me for two weeks. Finally, out of the blue, he hits me up and he was like, yo, I'm so sorry. I, I had an accident. And I was like, well, what happened? He was like... I got bleach in my eyes. <laughs> I was like, what? How did, how did you get bleach in your eyes? So he sent me this picture of him laying up in the hospital bed. <laughs> eyes all red. <laughs> Looking all sad. I'm sorry that happened to you. He never he never told me how he got bleach in his eyes, but he had bleach in his eyes. <laughs> so of course, as soon as I showed it to my old girl, she was like, "He lying." <laughs> so that's the second excuse. All right, hence the name Blacky Bleachy. So the third time we were supposed to meet up, at his request, I can't meet up with you this time. I'm so sorry. What happened? Black and bleachy. What happened? I got into a car accident and I totaled my car and I broke a bunch of bones in my body. I just, I just can't do it. <sighs> okay. I look on Facebook probably the next day or two days later. Who posted up on a nice little car that's not totaled? Talking about time heals our wounds. You know what? I was just like, I can't. <laughs> I cannot. Are you kidding? Seriously? Why are you lying? You don't have to lie. Like, it's okay. I would understand it so much better if you were just honest and like, look, I can't make it. Like, it's nothing I can do. You know, I got this, this, and this going on. That's fine. You know, I understand. But to lie to me about it on several different occasions, you get you. I can't. I can't trust you if you come up with every excuse in the book <laughs> not to follow through on your plans. It's not that serious. I promise you. It's not that serious. Just tell the truth. Shame the devil. So with that being said, we don't talk no more. I ended up blocking him permanently from everything. Phone, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, everything. Because he was just, it was always something. It was never the truth. So, black and bleachy, goodbye, bro. I wish you the best of luck with your music career. And if I see you in New York, I'm probably going to throw some bleach on your ass. I'm just playing. <laughs> I can't, y'all. Anyways, y'all have a good day. <laughs>